Today marks 62 years since the day known as Axe Handle Saturday, the day a large group of white men filled the streets of downtown and what was then Hemming Park, attacking any black person they saw. They had axe handles, bats, and clubs. They were mad about a sit-in protest that was being held. The Jacksonville Historical Society released this video of that day for the first time last year. Now, former Jacksonville Sheriff Nat Glover joins us here this morning. So first off, thank you for being here. Glad to be here, Brianna. Absolutely. So I know you saw this uh, firsthand uh, personally. You uh, walked into the chaos after you were uh, leaving your job downtown. Tell me a little bit about your experience. Yeah, I was 17 years old. And I had a weekend job, still in high school, and um, after my work, um, I walked out of uh, Morrison cafeteria that day uh, because actually our manager had said we all had to leave uh, work earlier than we would have ordinarily left and, and just get out of town. Well, my chores allowed me to leave, but it had to be later because I had to do some of the last things that needed to be done. And when I walked out, um, I, I met uh, a mob of white men with axe handles, and they quickly surrounded me and and was actually taunting me with the axe handles. And I ran to a police officer for help, and he indicated that I needed to get out of town before they killed me, oh and I goodness. ran. And I ran, and I was terrified. But um, it was a life-changing event for me because I was so afraid and so embarrassed because I ran. Um, it changed my life. And from that day to this day, I said to myself, I would never run away from another fight. And that allowed me to be uh, a person who would take risk and uh, I've been able to do that, and it certainly helped me in my profession as a law enforcement officer. Right, and I was just going to ask that. Is that the reason why uh, you became a law enforcement officer? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I always wanted to be a detective, and um, it certainly helped me because um, before I made detective, I was a police officer on the street, and I got an opportunity to go into a burning house and pull out a man who was trapped and uh, of course I was overcome by smoke myself and was taken to the hospital, but I never would have done that had I not thought that if I didn't do it, I would have to live with myself having run away again or didn't do what I should have done because I was afraid. And you say uh, doing what you should have done. You were 17 years old. That is a child and that is scary for any adult to go through. Um, what do you think you should have done during that day? Well, we, we had a kind of a code or a culture in my neighborhood, and the, and the culture was you didn't run away from a fight, no matter what the situation was. And if you can fight and you can lose the fight, but you'd rather lose the fight than to run away from it, because if you ran away from the fight, then you will call a coward. No one wanted to be labeled as a coward. So I probably overreacted to it, but it also set me on a course that allowed me to be where I am today. Yeah. And we know that was a pivotal moment for the city as well, and they've made so many changes since then. Uh, what are some changes you think the city still needs to make to this day? Well, the city of Jacksonville, I think, have done uh, great things. Uh, we probably uh, one of the major cities in Florida who've had African-American sheriff and an African-American mayor, and we have African-Americans in crucial uh, positions here in Jacksonville. But it just feels like the, the goal line is continuing to be moved, mm -hmm. and the whole notion of being able to go to the ballot box and make decisions and seem like there are some uh, impedance in that too to try to discourage or uh, even limit the, the voting access. So we got some work to do, but we still come a long way. Yeah, it's an ongoing fight. Well, thank you so much, former Sheriff Glover. It was a pleasure having you this morning and hearing such a powerful and triumphant story uh, from
from you firsthand. My pleasure.